Hello guys, welcome back to our conversations with Juan and Ray here from Lamella and this is our fourth one I'm really excited about this one because despite seeing 2020 all these people jumping into absor content absorption we started to become more aware and I said more because we kind of knew about it but we started to be more into the fact of realizing that there's a dark side of social media. I think part of this was it's always been kind of a question of how all this information it's been created and where do I stand with and then all this conversation about algorithm changes and then fake news and then back in the day with Cambridge Analytica it was just a whole thing. Um, but now thanks to this social dilemma doco um, and all the plethora of resources People start to be more aware of like, hold on a second, am I being, am I seeing what I really want to see or am I being manipulated? Mm -hmm. uh, so we also found that one in four Australians uh, are considered addicts. So is it a drug, is it not a drug if you're addicted to it and these platforms may kind of manipulate what you see, then how much power do they have? Not everything's doom and gloom, it's just something that we found people that were more aware and people are talking more about it. Uh, but I'm just going to pass it to Rage to tell us what to do about it. What can we do, Rage? Definitely. So, social media is great, but as Juan said, <laughs> it can also be a bit scary and, you know, and it, there is a dark side to it. So, something we suggest brands look at in 2021 is thinking about growing their community just outside of these platforms. And these communities can still exist on your LinkedIn and your Facebook, and they're amazing to have. Keep growing them. But just think about owning those relationships a little bit more and taking back some of the power you yeah. know, back with your community. So we think a really good way of doing this is by emailing. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it sounds really simple, um, but email marketing is very, very effective. Um, a lot of successful brands do this. And if you don't have a database already, you can build one very easily. You've got some communities ready to go on mm -hmm. your socials. Um, so, I mean, what are some ways that we can build a database? Um, the first one I would do is definitely use your socials to be your platform where you start to build those contacts. Start to build things that maybe your community is interested in. You Absolutely. know, maybe it could be quick, quick little uh, to-do list or tips and tricks or invite them to your special uh, ebook or something, or maybe launch yeah. a webinar. Then you capture kind of those credentials. But the most important thing is, once you start to build a database, make sure that I feel like with any community, if you go and you have a community about surfing and somebody starts to talk about accounting while you surf, it doesn't really match. So when you build a database, you really want to make sure that don't, don't treat it as a data, but just treat it as people. Like, what do people want to talk about? What does your people want to communicate? And then build content around that, because once you do that, you give them that value, they're going to keep listening, they're going to keep talking. Because um, we've seen with a lot of companies that they just go, oh, I need a database. It just sounds so unhuman. Mm -hmm. So it's just a way of how do you get some of your people or your community out of these platforms? Doesn't mean you're going to stop talking there. But how do you start to own a little bit of that community more on your, your way and a great way of having one-on-one -on -one content to a, a contact to an extent is if you got their email and then you group them into, oh, this person's really interested in account-based marketing. So let's throw content to, about, about that topic. Uh, so that's how can you mm -hmm. can start to do it, uh, capturing those let's say, emails to start with. Yeah, absolutely. Audi audience segmentation is super important mm -hmm. here, as Juan said. Being human is number one in all of this. Um, and also, I think as Juan sort of touched on, that you can offer some really valuable content and gate it. You can collect these really interested communities by offering them something really helpful that they really want. Maybe it's an ebook or maybe it's a members-only program, something like that. Um, but I guess the point of what we're talking about here today is in 2021, make your audience your own and make that your priority um, and you will see the results. Thank you, yeah. Rach. I would add one extra thing yeah. as well. Once you own them, give them some loving, show that you care and try to figure out ways. I know that email may sound like an obvious thing. Just don't send those emails that sound like salesy. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about having conversations in a different space. And you will see pretty clever people doing it. If you don't know how to write incredible copywriting, just get a copywriter. They're very creative and they're definitely going to help you find that tone of voice that you, that audience is desperate to, to read or to, to, to have so they can absorb your content. I think that's it. Do you have anything else? No, I think that's it. Easy one. Yeah. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>
Chicky Bam Bam Blue Melon. <laughs>